to my channel. It's Madam Soul Food again with another recipe. Today I am making Southern Style Collard Greens, a very simple and easy recipe. I'm going to show you all the ingredients. It's a tablespoon of each ingredient. That was Himalayan seasoning salt. Some people use Larry's. I use Badia's pink Himalayan seasoning salt. So as we go along, you'll see all the ingredients. I'm using about a tablespoonful. This is my tomato paste. I'm using about a tablespoon of that as well. Here's my onion powder. And you can season to your taste. If you like more, you can add more, but make sure you have enough of collard greens to you know, go with the measurements that you use for seasoning. This is black pepper. And today I'm using um, pre-cut, pre-washed collard greens. So if I already re-soaked them, that's why they look really wet. I soaked them again in water. This is my garlic salt. I would still use a tablespoon of the garlic salt because some of the seasonings are gonna cook off as you uh, steam or boil the collard greens. So I'm shaking a liberal amount of that as well. Now I won't be adding any hot sauce or vinegar to it because those are side condiments. And this is my cane sugar, Baker's cane sugar or baking sugar, some may know it as. It's made by Domino's. So as I was saying, I don't put side condiments in collard greens. These are my crushed tomatoes. It's more like a tomato sauce, but it, you can still see bits of tomatoes in it. So I use about a half a tablespoon to go along with a tablespoon of tomato paste. So as I was saying before, you don't really want to add side condiments to a whole pot of collard greens. Here are my diced tomatoes, I mean my diced peppers and onions. That's what that is right there. You can add bell seasoning or Italian seasoning. I'm going to use dry Italian seasoning to this recipe. I don't have any bell seasoning, but they both have pretty much the same ingredients except for I think bell's has sage in it. So I prefer bell's but I didn't have any and it was hard to find. So I substituted that with Batty's uh, Italian seasoning. Here's a little half a teaspoon of olive oil. And I'm gonna mix these together in a few moments. But yes, the uh, hot sauce, vinegar, and crushed pepper, I put to the side because they're side condiments. Sometimes uh, a person may have uh, digestive issues so I don't add those to the collard greens. I don't want to get anybody indigestion. But this is my grandmother's recipe. She's from Tennessee. Um, she just passed in September. But um, yeah, she shared this recipe with me. And I used to always ask her, oh, do I put the vinegar? She said, no. Do I put hot sauce? She's like, no. So she would, she would tell me, no, you don't add those. We put them to the side in case someone would like to add some to their collard greens. The only thing you add is uh, pretty much seasoning salt or salt and pepper. And um, the things that I showed you in this video, it's very simple. Collard greens is so easy to make. Um, you see many different recipes out there. So this is my thick bacon and my bouillon in warm water. I'm gonna pour that over my greens. Now what I do, I do something a little different. I'm sure other people may do this as well. I'm gonna break up the bouillon with my bare hands. I'm just gonna to toss everything around to get all the seasonings well blended together. After I do this, I'm going to actually cover my greens in saran wrap. I'm going to let it sit for about a half an hour in its seasoning. Because when you boil them, um, you tend to cook off the, uh, the, the ingredients that you put in your collard greens. So this is a way to keep your seasonings in your greens so when you do cook them, 
you don't lose a lot of flavor and have to add more seasoning, which was kind of like a waste of money if you have to add more seasoning to it. So that's how you save money. That's how you save your flavor. You marinate it in its juices with the bouillon saran wrap. You can place it in the refrigerator or just sit it on your counter for about a half an hour. So my greens have sat for a half an hour. I've unwrapped them. I've added some Italian seasoning to them. Now I'm going to cook them at medium high until they get to a boil. And then I'm gonna turn it down to a simmer. It only takes about 30 to 45 minutes to make the pre-washed collard greens. It's very easy, very simple. You don't have to pull stems. Even though there are some stems in, in the bag, you can pick them out if you don't like stems. Once your greens are simmering, you can open your lid halfway so some of the uh, water absorbs out of the greens. And voila, here are my collard greens. You see all that juice, all that goodness in there from the bacon? I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, stay safe. Try to think positive because things could be a whole lot worse. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.